important thing is the differential amplifier uh, equation and also the common mode response of the differential amplifier, right? So again, what is the differential amplifier? We make the left and right exactly the same, right? This is the first thing you need to uh, know right away. It comes to your mind immediately, right? Maybe people did not do it right, but you, this is what you want. And because of that, what is the current on the left and on the right? I as divided by two on each side, right? Some of you might not agree because you say, hey, you are putting a differential input. Yeah, you're right, right? I, I, what I'm asking is just that if we have the same common mode level. And then yeah, we apply the differential current to it. I try to make the left one more conductive, right one less conductive. As a result, I'm going to steer more current to the left and more and less to the right, right? But no matter what, IDS1 plus IDS2 must equal to what in this diagram? ISS, very good. Just because of KCL, right? But however, that is not the real case because in reality, we cannot have, a, have an ideal current source. What is the definition of an ideal current source? Infinite output impedance, right? That is correct, right? But we can also step back on a more lay, layman uh, terminology. We say that it always gives me the constant current low regardless of the voltage across it, right? Which is just like what you said, infinite impedance, right? So if it is not infinite, what do I do, right? So this is what we usually do as a circuit engineer. We still assume it's infinite, assume it is ideal, sorry, assume it is ideal, but then it is attached to a large resistor, right? Large resistor. So this resistor is, is input impedance, right? So basically this whole thing is equivalent to n long, ideal current source. Is this okay? And because of this, now my common mode gain is no longer zero, right? Uh, maybe I should also mention one more time that Vx right, for common mode Vx O equals to Vy equal to VDD minus RD times ISS divided by two, right? So no matter what common mode I put into the input, my output is always constant when I have ideal current source. But now this is no longer the case because I have the KCL like this now. I have IDS1 plus IDS2 equals to what? ISS plus current through RSS, which is VP divided by RSS, right? And now VP is not constant. It's never constant, right? And as a result, the current will change. And then we have many things, including I'm going to get a common mode gain, right? Um, and the and other issue is that if I have a delta R here, it means that due to fabrication, left and right are not the same. And we, it is always impossible to make two things identical, right? They can be very similar to each other, but not identical, unless we are at the elementary particle level or atom. I can say this hydrogen atom equals to this hydrogen atom, right? Uh, but their environment won't be the same neither, actually, right? So because they're different, plus this long ideal uh, current source, 
we actually will get to something called common mode to differential mode conversion. It means that if I have a common mode noise, both sides, left and right, go up and go down at the same time. They are not differential. And we want to reject it. We don't want to see it. But because of this low ideal current source and also this mismatch, you are going to get some differential output. Basically, this is saying that this is equal to V out 1 minus V out 2 divided by VCM, right? There's a difference in the output. And when we have some input, common mode input, which is noise, we get some differential output. Again, our goal in the differential circuit is to sense the difference of the voltage. If the difference does not change, I don't care because I only gauge it by measuring the difference. But now if I have a common mode input, I measure the difference, then I thought that that is the signal I want, right? For example, if I hook this to a speaker at two terminal, there's a difference, right? If I have a common mode noise, then I will hear some sound. That is not what I want because that is not what I'm speaking, right? So this is called common mode to differential mode conversion. Is this okay? Do you remember this? Right? And just an equation. But as an engineer, you should be able to do intellectual guess. If in the interview, we forgot what it is and they gave you this circuit, right? They might not give you. How would you guess it? You should not guess as RSS divided by delta R, right? Because you know that what is the ideal case? When it is ideal, RSS needs to be large. Delta R needs to be small. So when it is ideal, I expect there will be no gain. So this needs to be small. So definitely delta R needs to be on top of RSS, right? Because if RSS is infinity, then I don't have this problem because the gain is zero, right? This is the gain I don't want, okay? So that is one thing, right? Now, another thing as an engineer is again, right? We care about relative. It's not really about the value. Just like what is infinity, what is zero in electrical engineering is all about relative, right? For example, when we do the cascode uh, current amplifier calculation, we assume that the R0 is infinity when we do the GM because at that time, R0 is much larger than the other quantity in the equation we care about. But when we try to calculate the output impedance, the R0 need to, cannot be infinity. Otherwise, the output impedance will be infinity, right? So for the same quantity, sometimes we treat it as infinity. Sometimes we don't, even for the same circuit, right? So similarly, what why do I care about the ACMDM? Even it is large, but if the signal I try to amplify can be amplified much larger, then I don't care, right? So that's why what I care is the so-called common mode to uh, common mode rejection ratio, which is defined as the gain of the differential mode. I have a differential input and I get differential outputs, right? Divided by the common mode to differential mode gain, right? So if my differential mode gain is very large, then I can suppress my common mode to differential gain, then I'm okay with that. So that's why you really care about is the CMRR, okay? Any questions? <laughs>